On or just outside off stomach. He just holds that, he owns it. But the length where you're deciding whether to go forward or back is always going to create chances. And it's been taken. And he's off. He has got a big celebration as well. Safe brother takes the catch in the deep, and it's a short ball this time for Omar Gol. Watson was always going to take it on. Mahrez just got him high on the bat, near the splice off the bat. Omar Gul announces himself. Comfortable cash, emerging player gets underneath it. Omar Gul goes on a run. Multan get a wicket finally. It's 48 for one. Watson gone for 26. It's testing Waddo. He knows that Watson goes after it. And he knew straight away Shane Watson that it had come off the top half of the bat. Really giving it to himself, like working so hard to maintain fitness because he's still a player. And it's third man catch, it's taken. And uh, Shafiq was batting beautifully, played some smart strokes out there, but he's perished in the deep. Just tired, standing outside leg stump and just maybe got away from the ball a little bit. It's out short outside off stump, he's was down the wicket, giving himself too much room. Imran Tai takes the catch. Muted celebration from him, but Asad Shafiq goes back. Second wicket down for 54, he's out for 20. Early on here, just gone a bit too early there, Asad Shafiq, and you had the feeling that uh, Umar Gul saw him coming and pushed it wider. Look how wide he is, look how far outside leg stump he's tilted to have to connect yeah and it is a disadvantage i think if you're a charger if you if you're hitting is about charging and the ball isn't lined up oh god no oh yes you get to thought it was going to hit the deck we've got to juggle on and that was sensational is he unsure though is he saying i'm just not sure well, the umpires are conferring here. The fielder is Shan Masood. Substitute fielder. I don't think Alim Dar could see it from square. So, uh, that's fine, move it on. This uh, will be spectacular, whatever happens. But uh, here we go, what happens here? Oh, oh, no, control, control. Oh, work that one out. It's such a terrific reaction after that little fumble. You've got to, oh, that is, that's a difficult one to well, say the least. Oh, uh, uh, Baz, I, Baz it. Okay, now then. Okay, there's a split second. Oh, now from there, I don't think you can tell from there. I think from there, that looks a good catch. Yeah, I think that angle suggests that you yeah. know, when, it, when it comes out like that, that's going to confuse them upstairs. But from that angle, this is the one. But where are the fingers? Are they under it? It's gone up as a soft signal out. Now, it needs to be overwhelmingly telling us that's not out for that to be overturned. That's why the soft single... Um, will determine so much if it goes up not out signal was out soft signal right okay oh goodness you see also you've got the lens problem here where you that foreshortens the shot doesn't it and everything gets distorted put it this way it's the same third umpire isn't it and if he's given the other one not out <laughs> i think this is going to be not out just on the strength of because i thought he caught the other one he gave it not out um, and and I, I can see that being caught. From one angle, it looks completely good, but then there's a little bit of doubt again, but soft signal is out, Alan. Yeah, if this looks there, it looks out. It looks like his hand, right hand, is under the ball. From this angle, I would give it out. So which way are we going this way? Soft signal was out. It is out! <laughs> Third umpire has gone with a soft signal from the umpires and maybe something back for the big man Tom Moody. 
So uh, it's a moment for the fielding side. Omar Gold gets another one, and it's the big one. Safraz Ahmed, he's gone for 11, 114 for five. Gets hold of it, but he's picked the man out. Yes, he has. No worries about that one. Let's just turn and walk off. And that's Forfa. He might get another game, this youngster. Eh? Yeah, comes in, waltzes in and gets a Forfa. Another one of those slow ones banged into the wicket. No pace on it. And he couldn't clear the man. Whiteley takes the catch, gleefully accepts it. Omar Gull. What a game he's had. Rousseau out for 27, 118 for six. Yeah, it bowled him two slow balls. He just never got the pace of it. Tried to work this leg side. And uh, Ross Whiteley's got a good pair of hands. Well, this is his first match in the HBL PSL, Ross Whiteley. Can't watch. Can't watch. Is this Pfeiffer? It's Pfeiffer. Pollard's the man. It's like he's got wicket keeping gloves on. His hands are that big. And we have the fourth Pfeiffer in the history of PSL right here, right now. Omar Gull, after being hit for two sixes, gets his man. Now, I was trying for that elusive last boundary. Pollard's never going to drop that. Five for Omar Gull. Is it enough? It's the last man in the field you want to pick out in the deep is Pollard. Noah is 11. It's 144 for seven. Another look at the wicket down the throat of Long On, and look who it is. He's put one down at slip today, Shane Watson. He wasn't going to drop that one. He was not going to drop that one. So three wickets in the bank, but only seven balls remaining and nine runs required. Here we go. Last ball. Oh, another wicket, another one. He's got six for. He's got six for. Get wind is up. Where's it gone now, Wilco? The dial, it's twisting, turning. It's gone anti-clockwise, wind viz. It's gone mad. Viv is not up now. Short ball again. Not the Yorker you associate with Omar Gol. Imran Tahir with the celebration. Six for Omar Gol. And he's just been brought into the team. Anwar Ali out for 15. Uh, this last wicket has given him figures that will be very hard to chase down. Six for, and that last over went six one six wicket dot wicket.